Hello everybody. Well, I'm back. Now, my camera went out when I was doing this article. So, I don't know exactly where I left off. But it's the Democrats back bipartisan bill to ban TikTok for US users. So, I'm just going to kind of go through the article here cuz I went all the way to the end and looked over. <laughs> My camera wasn't even going, and I was just blabbing away, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but I was reading it, but uh, if they want to ban TikTok because of it being associated with China and to protect our children and uh, the grown-ups and uh, their belongings, their bank accounts, where they work, um, more or less, we're all being spied on somewhere, somehow, through China, and TikTok was taking in all this information that was connected to China. So now, bipartisan uh, bill has been brought up to stop this. So uh, let's hope and pray that that will work. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to go through the whole article again because I'm not sure where it left off. Um... <clears throat> I went that far, I do remember. Um, let's see, espionage, mass surveillance. It is imperative that we do not allow hostile powers to potentially control social media networks that could be easily weaponized against us. That's what that Krishna Muti said in a statement. Yes, and he added that the bipartisan legislation Rubio introduced would go a long way to protect the United States from the nefarious digital surveillance influence operations of totalitarian regimes. Now, I remember reading that, but I'm not sure if the camera was on. Uh, Republicans have since expressed distrust uh, for TikTok in light of information that the company ByteDance, I remember spelling that out, B-Y-T-E, and so forth and so on. And President Donald Trump made calls to ban the app in 2020. Now, I know I read that part. And there goes the article again, so I'm not sure. But they're trying to stop that because of uh, the China getting all our information from all of us. You know, our assets, our, our bank accounts, probably where we buy groceries, who's our dentist. What doctor do we go to? I wouldn't doubt it. You know, I would not doubt it. So let's try to find one real quick here. And let's put this down. And uh, I read that one. Uh, let's go here. And uh, I'm trying to find one that I haven't got the same people. Uh, this one here. Let's see if I can get this one going. This was kind of interesting uh, when I started reading it. If it'll come up now, I don't know. If it doesn't, uh, I may have to back out and uh, try to pick it back up again. Let's try to get that going. Maybe if I knock some of these windows out. We'll wait just a second here and see, but I hope you all had a merry, merry Christmas. And I've said this a uh, few times now, but uh, I, I was in bed. <laughs> I was sick, but I talked to my children in Indiana, and uh, that was awesome. And they had a nice Christmas, and um, they all didn't get what they wanted because of the financial situations everybody's in, even though they're all working. Their money is not meeting their bill requirements. And they're scraping pennies just to keep the house over their heads. Now that's ridiculous. But that's the way things are. Okay, this is coming up now. But they, they were together, all together, and they had a beautiful, beautiful day just being together. And that's what counts. And of course, I was on the phone. That when the holidays roll around, it, it's usually... A pretty long time that I'm on the phone with the kids yeah my my daughter and, and my grandchildren and great-grandchildren and it's awesome and it's just like being there you know not quite 
you can't get a real warm hug, you know, or give them a kiss on the cheek. And, uh, but, uh, here's this article. It did come up. There is one secret about January 6th that Liz Cheney does not want you to know. So let's run through this real quick here. Liz Cheney and the January 6th committee released their final report. Now, I was anxious to see what she had to say because she hates Trump. You know that. There is one secret about January 6th that Liz Cheney does not want you to know. One of the unsolved mysteries from January 6th revolves around Ray Epps. E-P-P-S. Ray Epps. After the events of that day, the FBI placed Epps on a wanted list. That's because Epps was seen multiple times on camera encouraging and even coaching Trump supporters on how to attack the Capitol. Shortly thereafter, the FBI removed Epps from the list. And FBI officials have outright refused to even answer any questions about whether Epps worked for the agency as an undercover informant. Despite of all these facts, the committee's final report made no mention of Ray Epps, a fact that did not escape the notice of Congressman Troy Neals, representative of Texas. I've examined the 845-page January 6th report, Neals wrote on social media. Trump mentioned 4,207 times. Ray Epps mentioned zero times. It was never about the truth. The January 6th committee was released more than 50 witnesses' transcripts alongside its final report. Ray Epps' transcript was not among them. Now, why not? Committee Chairman Representative Benny Thompson, Democrat of Miss MS, Mississippi, I take it, or Miss Mississippi, I think, MS, uh, who is also an election denier who spread conspiracy theor theories about former President George Bush re-election in 2004, claimed the public would eventually see Epps' transcript, but refused to say when that would be. Now that kind of confuses me. What what does this January 6th thing have to do with President George Bush? You know, it just don't make sense. Who is also an election denier who spread conspiracy theories about former President George Bush. Oh, I see. Okay, Epps did that against George Bush. Just like, okay, okay. We will release the transcript, Thompson told the Washington Examiner. But you know there's a review process that goes with every uh, uh, deposition. He has to have an opportunity to review it. Say, this is what I said, Thompson continued. At some point, it will be made available. I just can't tell you when. The continued secrecy about Ray Epps, lingering questions over whether or not he worked for the federal government as an informant, is only fueling speculation about the committee's cover-up and the FBI's role in orchestrating January 6th. That's the part right there that got me. Yeah, right there. The FBI role in orchestrating January 6th. Oh, boy. Law enforcement arrested hundreds of Trump supporters, many who are simply nonviolent protesters but left Ray Epps alone despite the fact that he is on the video pushing Trump supporters to march on the Capitol. Many Americans want to know why this is. Well, I would say so. And Democrats, January 6th committee hiding the transcript of Ray Epps' testimony leads many to believe that the real answer is not flattering for the federal government. Stay tuned to Conservative Underground News for any updates to this ongoing story. Okay. Well, this will be my last video. Um, and sorry for the interruption of the camera going out on me. I'm not sure why it did that. It's never happened to me before. But I don't know. This is a tower now. It's not the all-in-one. So, <laughs> I'm just getting by, as they say. So, anyway, just remember, you know, you're a blessing. Share a blessing with someone else. And I will probably see you tomorrow. Um, I don't know about getting on during the day. I can always try it. Uh, I would like to do it in the afternoon after all my work is done. 
and uh, I've rested for a while and uh, then I like to do my videos and I like to do them at night also you know but um, I don't know the way this tower uh, acts when the computer uh, or not computer but when the internet is so busy that has an effect on your computer from what I understand if it's busy you just can't get nowhere you know so uh, but I'll see what I can do but anyway uh, God bless this year for all of us you know pray uh, prayers Jesus hears them I know he does and um, I just want everybody to be so blessed this year and I hope that the right decisions will finally be made to where we get a president what do I want to say that is strong enough to carry the load now Lord knows Trump may have did wrong you know it hasn't all been settled yet but now most of these articles like I read today um, they're trying to say that he's probably going to go to prison I don't know because it's not been proven to me yet and what about his taxes I've been looking and looking for articles to tell me that he didn't pay that tax for that year or two years or three years or he underwent uh, the internal revenue suspiciously and, and progressing with buying property, selling property, or whatever. I have not read a thing. So uh, maybe they're saving it for court. Could be. I don't know. But I hope he doesn't go. And I still hope, and I'm sure I'm not alone, that he will run in 2024. And pray we stay stable as much as we can until then. Unless something should happen, uh, which I don't know. They were saying something I read in one article. They're still working on that of getting Biden, um, oh, what do you want to call that? get him out of office, but then who would take his place? It might be worse than what Biden is. So, I don't know. But you have to stop and think, what are we going to face for these next two years? I don't know. Pray. You're special. You're a blessing. Spread the word. Night. <laughs>